There are two methods used to draw edges with the line tool. The first is to simply click your mouse at various points around the screen to draw connected edges in succession. The second method is to click and drag the mouse button to draw an edge and release the mouse button to finish the edge. This method will create one edge only, making it more difficult to create multiple join edges. For this and other reasons, we recommend drawing all edges by clicking as shown in the first example. When you are drawing edges this way and need to finish, simply press the escape key on your keyboard. The line tool will snap in a parallel direction to the red, green, and blue axes, turning the color of the axes it is parallel to. Using these directions while drawing is called inferring and is covered in other videos. In SketchUp, the primary purpose for drawing edges is to create surfaces or divide those surfaces. Watch the new user's video on drawing edges to learn all about the best practices for edges and surfaces. To be accurate with the line tool, simply start drawing an edge in the direction you want, then type in the length you need and hit the Enter key. Here is an example. Start drawing an edge in the red direction, type 5m for 5 meters and hit the Enter key. Then start drawing in the green direction and type 12 apostrophe for 12 feet and hit the Enter key. Any single edge can be subdivided. Right or context click on the edge, choose Divide, then slide your mouse across the edge to choose the number of divisions. If you hover your mouse while dividing, SketchUp will tell you the number of divisions and length of each one. Click your mouse to accept. To learn more about using the line tool, view the videos on drawing edges and on inferencing.